Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the mid-July 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post future videos. But with that being said, Taurus, let's go and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close. So last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a look at, mid, at just the remainder of July. Column number three, we're going to talk about money. We're going to do a love column. And in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self for our spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. But let's see here, taking a look at... Our summary card, we have the card of time. When I see this card, it means typically one of two things. Either it was time to do something, Taurus, or things were taking a little bit more time than they usually would or should. But let's see what messages we have coming through here. The first card that we have is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a card I actually really like. I know it looks a little gloomy. They're facing away from us. Their heads are hanging low. And there's a bunch of swords stuck in the boat. But if you look at this boat, the boat is moving forward in a positive direction. So this is all about going through a necessary transition. And for some of you, this could actually be relocating or moving. But again, indicates a period of transition. The next card that we have is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of... Um, luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain. Um, so it could have been some good money gains these last few weeks, Taurus. The other part of this, though, that solo pleasures, this is sometimes going out and enjoying things on your own, just you time. So it could have been some really quality you time these last few weeks as well. And at the bottom, we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords oftentimes indicates conflict. It's bullies, theft, violence, abusive, some sort of toxic relationship, um, but more so an indicator of some sort of conflict typically that happened. Let's see what other messages are coming through here though. The first card that we have is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. Um, it's a card also of fertility and marriage, so some of you could have found out you were pregnant or got engaged or married recently. But going back to being resourceful, um, some of you definitely did get those financial gains. So you're entering into a place where you could be more resourceful with your resources. But generally speaking, that's a big part of the transition. So I think there's going to be a really positive financial shift for you coming soon, Taurus. Um, and again, it's about being smart with the resources. You have not only money, but time, energy. Um, we're moving into a much more resourceful period for you. The next card that we have is the Seven of Cups. If you take a look at the Seven of Cups, there's something different in each of these cups. When I see this card, it can be like a busy card, lots going on. Um, the other piece of the Seven of Cups though, is it can be very non-committal. Um, so somebody might have like fallen through on plans and that could have led to those kind of solo adventures. Again, it worked out for the best, but this does feel very busy. Um, and like I said, I feel like plans fell through and that's how you ended up going out and enjoying some time with yourself, but that's a good thing in that it happened. And at the bottom here we have the Hermit. The Hermit is a card of going within for clarity. It's being on a personal quest, personal truth. Um, if you look at this light inside the lantern, this is the light that's inside of you. Um, you could have gotten clarity on the conflict or you could have just like really realized that this person or this relationship is not serving you well. Um, again, conflict's kind of the big piece there. The Hermit can also be a card of isolation. So you could have been isolating yourself from this individual or from this conflict, which again is not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes you just have to remove yourself from the situation. But now, Taurus, let's take a look at what's coming for the remainder of July. We have the card Absence. Um, I feel like you're like continuing the solo energy, which I like, Taurus. It's good to take some you time. 
Um, but in general, this could be you feeling maybe a little disconnected, a little bit more disconnected than normal. Um, if you haven't been having that you time or that quiet time, I would encourage you to do so. Even if you just like take 10 minutes and sit down and meditate or take a bath or go for a walk by yourself, it seems to be like a brain break and a good reset to your energy by having a little bit of quality alone time. Let's see what messages are coming through though, Taurus. What we're working with for these next few weeks. The first card that we have is the Strength card. The Strength card is a card of self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. The line on this card does mean courage, but this is very much so like a you doing for you energy, that self-love, that self-respect. Um, so again, really, really important that you're taking time for yourself. I'm going to give you some other messages, of course, Taurus, but that's the message that's coming through so far. The next card that we have is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting. If you look here, this person planted these pentacles, and they're just sitting there waiting for them to grow. It's waiting, it's delayed success. Um, so there could be some waiting, something possibly that's maybe not happening as quickly as you'd like it to. It could very well be a delay from these last few weeks too because it feels like things were maybe not moving as quickly as we typically like to see there. We're going to clarify that card though. And then at the nine, or at the bottom here we have the nine of cups which is a stellar card no matter where we have it in the reading. Um, the nine of cups is a card of wishes coming true, it's material abundance, it's happiness, it's good health. Um, so for those of you that haven't been feeling the best lately, this is going to be a good shift of energy for you. But this is saying really whatever you want you can have and it's nice to see after this waiting card because it does feel like something you've really wanted hasn't come to you yet. So likely you'll see that shift going into the end of July. The thing to keep in mind with the Nine of Cups though is you want to make sure you're focusing on what you want. Um, sometimes people get really focused on the things they don't want and in return they almost attract those things to themselves. So like some people want to get out of debt but they all they think about is debt and they end up with more debt. So we want to think about the opposite which would be like an abundance of money. Or another example is like maybe you've been working too many hours and you want lighter workload but again all you're thinking about is out is how many hours you're working now and in return you're going to be getting more hours of work where you want to be oh I only worked 35 hours this week or I worked 40 hours this week or I had eight hours of free time this uh every day this week so make sure you have the right mindset there so you can be attracting those things that you want to yourself but let's see what clarifiers? Well, look at that. All major arcana clarifiers here at Taurus. The first one we have is the Judgment card. The Judgment card is a card that's always favorable for you. This is a card of clarity, making a decision. Um, I feel like you now see that you need some alone time. You need that you time. Um, that's the clarity that you're getting. But like, you're going to feel so much better with this. Um, the judgment card is about like living your life's purpose and your life's purpose, Taurus, is not necessarily to isolate yourself and not visit with people. That's not what I'm saying. But taking care of yourself is a huge piece of it. Um, so self-love and self-respect and taking care of yourself is going to help you accomplish anything that you're hoping to accomplish with your life's purpose. The next card that we have is the Fool card. The Fool card is the first card in the Major Arcana. It is a card of fresh hope, taking chances, going on a new path or adventure. Um, love to see this here. So again, with that Seven of Pentacles, this is waiting. But this is saying this thing that you've been waiting for, whatever this new thing is, it's coming. So really, really glad to see that. There has been some waiting, no doubt, but it looks like we are just right there at this new beginning there for you. Then moving on to the bottom here, we have the Empress. The Empress is a card of creation and abundance. Um, this could be another card of fertility and pregnancy if that's what you're hoping for. Um, but really nice pairing of cards down here. You have the Empress saying you can create anything and you have this Nine of Cups saying you can have whatever you want. So keep that in mind and again, make sure you have a very clear mindset of what you're hoping to accomplish. Now we're going to take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. So think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments that you have. The first card that we have is the world card. We just talked about the first card in the deck. Now we have the last card in the major arcana. 
which is about completing a goal or lesson. This could also be travel, so some of you could be traveling for work, but this is indicating a completion of something. Um, the world has gone full circle, so this could be you starting a new project, starting a new job, um, starting retirement, um, but again, completion, which then leads to a new beginning for you there. The next card that we have is the Justice card. Similar to the Judgment card, this is one of these cards that are always favorable for you, Taurus. This is that cause and effect energy, win-win solutions. Um, so it's everything you've been working hard for now, reaping the benefits of it. This is also a good card for contracts, legal agreements, things of the courts, um, indicates a favorable outcome for you as well. And then moving on down to the bottom, we have the Two of Swords. Anytime we have two of something like this, it indicates a decision in the tarot card deck. Um, so it does seem like there's going to be some sort of financial or career decision that you're going to be making going into the end of this month, Taurus. But let's see what we've got here. The first card that we have is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is uh, very curious, very gossipy, very like prying eyes type energy. I typically tell people to avoid gossip or drama when I see this card. So avoid talking too much about your money or career plans or even like gossip gossiping at work. Um, the nice thing is it feels like there's some drama right now or some gossip right now. But the world is going to put an end to that. So I do think some of you will be starting a new job or starting a new project, but this just could be an indicator of this gossip or drama coming to an end, which is a perk as well. We like that too. The next card that we have is the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of teamwork, collaboration, skill. Uh, remember with the Justice card, I was just saying this is your hard work paying off. Well, the Pentacle is all of those wonderful traits. It's your teamwork, your collaboration, your skill, your quality, your craftsmanship. Um, to all of these things that you've worked so hard on are going to continue to pay off for you. This is also coming through that like you've been in the right. So again, for those of you in the court, legal, contractual, situation. Um, you're in the right, so just know that there. And then moving on to the bottom here, we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of surprise gifts. Um, that's what this fourth cup floating is, is on the side. So you could be coming across the money you weren't expecting, maybe like a spot bonus. Even some of you could like hit a few hundred dollars on a scratch ticket or something like that. Not saying you should go and gamble, just throwing out examples. Um, this also could be a card though of apathy or not feeling very fulfilled. So in terms of making this decision, I do feel like that's going to be what's just driving the decision. It's because you're just not happy about something financially or career related. It's this low feelings or these kind of meh feelings that are pushing you along right now, Taurus. Now moving on to our next column, we're going to take a look at anything related to love. So think family, friends, relationships, children, anything that you associate with love. The first card that we have is the Knight of Pentacles. This is a very reliable person. It's also a card of patience and hard work. Um, I feel like some of you have been doing a lot lately for your relationship, for a significant other, for a friend, family, kid, grandkid. Um, this is just a reflection of the effort that's being put into a relationship. Moving down to our next card, we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of theft, betrayal, dishonesty. And if you look at this person who's picking up these swords and moving away, I do feel like there's a relationship you're going to be moving away from this month, but I don't know that it's going to be so cut and dry to say that it was theft, dishonesty, betrayal, anything like that. I just feel some distancing happening from some relationship. Then we take a look at our bottom card here, which is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups overall is a good love card. The Three of Cups does fall more to the friendship side though, Taurus versus true love. Um, this is like friendship or circle of support, um, but likely something fun to do with friends. It could be family, but again, this feels very strongly uh, to be friend energy, but like you might have a little get together. You might see an old friend you haven't seen in a while. You might even just call somebody you haven't seen in a while. Friendship feels very strong and very positive this month for you. 
Now let's take a look at our clarifying cards. The first one we have at the top there is the strength card. The strength card we had earlier, that's again that card of self-love, unconditional love, self-respect, courage. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, I was saying you have done so much for somebody. So I'm going to give the message. I told you I wasn't going to keep giving you this message, but I'm going to give it to you one more time, I guess. Um, take some you time this month, even if it's only 10 minutes a day or 10 minutes a week or whatever it may be. Um, your energy is just going to benefit so greatly from a tiny bit of you time this month, Taurus. The next card that we have is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is very much so a love card. This is like romantic love, partnership, proposal, marriage. Um, the distancing could potentially be from the person you're married to or in a relationship with. I don't necessarily feel like relationships are ending for many of you, but it feels a little distance this month, so just be aware of that. And then at the bottom we have the Moon card. The Moon card is a card of trusting your intuition. Could be a voluntary change. Sometimes it's things that we didn't see or predict. This kind of friend date night may pop up out of the blue. It might be on short notice, but I definitely encourage you to go and participate and enjoy. Um, on the other hand, some of you may need to initiate it, like take the steps to like I don't want to say voluntary change, but it's more so making the decision to initiate this kind of friendship connection this month. Now moving on to our fifth and final column, we're going to go um, for a message from our future self or spirit guide, so something to carry into the month end of July. We have the card Repetition. Um, I said I wasn't going to keep giving you this message. If you look at this card, this person is kind of burnt out. They're covering their face in one photo. Part of their face is covered in another. You're kind of in this mundane schedule that's not serving you the best, Taurus. So I do really, really encourage you again to shake up your schedule a little bit, even if you're just taking 10 minutes for yourself. You definitely need this brain break or this little bit of space for yourself. Um, that card being repetition, and it's just, again, it's kind of mundane. The repetition is not necessarily serving you as well as it could be at this exact moment. But now let's take a look at this last column. The first card we have is the Magician. The Magician is one of those really good cards that we are happy to have anywhere in the reading. This is focus, creativity, it's turning visions into reality. Um... Again, when we were talking earlier, it's very important to make sure that you're focused on the things that you want because they so easily come when you have cards like the Nine of Cups, the Empress, and the Magician. The next card that we have is the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a card of loss, uh, regret, grief, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved. Um, there seems to be some low feelings coming through in these next few weeks. We're going to see if we can clarify why. It does seem like something is going to happen that wasn't planned with the Tower card. And the Tower card is unwanted change. And it can be something that you just weren't anticipating. It can feel like it's kind of an upheaval or it can feel very disgraceful. Or, But the nice thing about the Tower card is everything happens for a reason and the Tower card takes you to exactly where you need to be. And oftentimes when I see the Tower card, it ends up being less significant, like... You plan for A, B, C, and D, D, E, F happen, but at the end of the day, it was still fine kind of thing. Um, so just be aware of that. It does feel like this not happening the way you expected it to happen could potentially be bringing up some of those feelings. But let's clarify and see here. We have the Three of Swords, which again, this is the low feelings. I will say, so this is paired on top of the Magician, and the rest of these cards are looking really good. So this thing that doesn't play out exactly the way you're hoping for is going to bother you. It's going to trigger some of these lower feelings. But at the end of the day, we have the Magician saying, you can have whatever you want. We just maybe didn't get there the exact way that you are hoping for, Taurus. The next card we have is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is that card of luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain. But once again, it's that solo pleasure. So please, please, please take time for yourself these next few weeks. I don't think I can tell anybody more times than I've told you in this reading, Taurus. And at the bottom here, we have the Knight of Swords. If you look at this card, the Horse and Rider moving very quickly here. Um, this change is probably going to happen fast. Maybe it's something that happens quicker than you were anticipating. Um, the speed of this change or this event does seem to be 
uh, part of what's triggering the lower emotions. But again, we have the Magician. We have some great cards in there. So kind of just roll with it. And again, make sure you take time for yourself. But now let's take a look. We're going to answer three yes or no questions using the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, Taurus, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the King of Diamonds. This is number 15 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two is the Nine of Clubs. This is a number 26 card. That's going to be a no. Question number two three, excuse me, question number three is the two of diamonds. This is number 18 card. That's going to be a yes. So you have yes, no, yes, Taurus. If you watched our video earlier this month, we did pull a card from our healing stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you throughout the month of July. Your crystal this month is citrine. Not surprised to see this. You have so many money cards all the time, Taurus, and this is a great money crystal, but this is also good for new lease on life, self-worth, helping you enjoy life, um, feel the joy in life, and it really encourages you to go on some new paths, say, shake up the norm, break out some uh, new pat patterns and habits. And at the bottom, we're gonna pull a healing note here for our very last thing. Today, I'm going to let go, let go my burdens. I'm going to face this day and have faith that everything will get better. Thank you so much, Taurus, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Um, if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you, Taurus, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of July.